Hello and welcome to my channel. I am going to do access chapter 1 Capstone Loan Learning Management. I will do this assignment step by step and you, you can get your assignment done by watching this video. If you want me to do this assignment for you, if you want me to do this complete course for you, including Excel assignment, Assess assignment, PowerPoint assignment, and Word assignments, you can contact me on WhatsApp, email. That is mentioned in the description of this video. You can get my WhatsApp and email at the bottom of the screen that is showing here. You can hire me for your other courses like accounting, management, finance, information technology, computer sciences, or writing assignment as well. So let's solve this assignment and solve each and every step in this assignment. So title of the assignment is EXP19 Access Chapter 1 Capstone Loan Lending Management. First step of the assignment is to download the access file that is a database file EXP19 Access Chapter 1 Capstone Loan Lending Management. This is the file that I have downloaded and we are supposed to solve assignment in this file. We will apply each and every step that is mentioned in the description in this file. So I have already downloaded. Let's move to step number two now. Step number two is open the loan officer table in the data sheet view and add the following records to the loan officer table. So we are supposed to add these records, these one in the loan officer table. For this, we will open the loan officer table in the data sheet view. So let's go to the database file and open the loan officer table. So this is already open in the data sheet view. So we are supposed to add the record that are given here. So first name is John. So I will keep copying. We can copy or we can type as well. So I will keep copying this one. So first name is John. Last name is Badman. Then email is this one that is John underscore Badman at the rate of loanofficer.com. So this is the email. Then phone extension is given there. This one. Then the loan officer, that is the title. So title is loan officer. So now we will move to second record, that is this one. He is senior loan officer. So now let's move to the third record. So now we will move to the fourth record.
Then now we are adding the fifth record. So we have added five records and last one is the sixth one. Oh, so sixth one is this one. So we have added all the records. So first one was loan officer, second one was senior loan officer, then third one was loan officer. Again, so loan officer, senior loan officer, loan officer, officer. And after that, senior loan officer, loan officer, and managing loan officer. So senior loan officer, loan officer, and managing loan officer. So we have added the record. Now it is saying that close the table. So we were supposed to add this record in the loan officer table in the data sheet view. And after adding this record, we will now close the loan officer table. So close this one. So next thing is step number three because we are done with step number two. So step number three is you will now add information to loan table for the most recent loan that the firm that the firm processed. So now we are supposed to add the so now we are supposed to add the information to the loan table for the most recent loan that the firm processed. So let's go to the loan table. This is, this is the loan table. Now it is saying that officer ID 5, member ID 15, loan amount 700. So we will add this one here. Here. So officer ID is five. Then the member ID is given that is 15. Member ID should be 15. Then the loan amount is 7000. Loan amount should be Seven thousand, and after that, term is thirty six months. Thirty six months, and after that, interest rate is fifteen point four one. So, interest rate is fifteen point four one. Then next is payment. Payment is 245.244.07. This one 244.07. That is the payment. 244.07. So 244.07. That is the payment. And after that, grade is D. So we will type D here in the grid. Then issue date is 
12, 15, and 2018. 12, 15, and 2018. So we will type 12, 15, and 2018 here. So last one is loan status. That is this one. So I will simply copy this one and will paste there. So paste it here. So we are done with this uh, and we have typed this one. So that is all about step number three where we were supposed to add the information to loan table for the most recent loan that the firm processed. And I have added this one and you can see that this is added to this row. So this is added. So now we will move to next tab. That is step number four. So in step number four, it is saying that sort the record in the loan table by issue date field in descending order. New us to orders. Save the save and close the table. So now we are supposed to sort the record in the loan table by issue date. So let's go to the loan table. So this is the loan table, and we are supposed to sort the table by issue date. So let's look for issue date. This is issue date, and we are supposed to sort the record in descending order that is mentioned here this one so i will sort this by descending order for this we will go to the home tab after going to the home tab go to sort and filter and click on descending because we are supposed to sort this in descending order so click on descending so we have sorted the loan table by issue date in descending order so that is all about step number four so we have solved four steps for this assignment now let's move to next step that is step number five so in step number five it is saying that open the maintain member form in the record three for the brand anderson member id 13 add a new loan to sub form so now we are supposed to open the maintain member form so we will save this loan table and we will close this now so now we'll open the maintain member form now it is saying that in the record 3 for the brand anderson member id 13 this is the record 3 member id 13 Member ID 13 add a new loan to the sub form. So we are supposed to add this a new loan. This is the new loan, and now we are supposed to add this new loan to the sub form. So first we will go to the record three. So click next record and then next record. So this is record three, and you can see that member ID 13 and Ben Anderson that is mentioned in the requirement. This one record three. Brian Anderson member ID 13. So we are supposed to add the loan in the sub form for Brian Anderson. So now we will add this record. So officer ID is 5. So officer ID is 5. Then loan amount is 17,000. 17,000. Then Term is 36 month. So we will type 36 month here. Thirty-six month. Interest rate is four point three five. Four point three five. Then payment is three hundred point four five. So payment should be 300.45. That is the payment. Then grade is B. Grade should be B. Then 
issue date is 9-1-2018. So issue, issue, issue date should be 9-1-2018. This one. And the last thing is the loan status that is fully paid. So we will type fully paid in the loan status. Fully paid. So loan status is fully paid. So we were supposed to add this loan to the sub farm for the member ID 13, Brian Anderson, record is three. So we have added this one. And after this, it is saying that this is all about step number five. Now we will move to next step, that is step number six, because in step number five, we were supposed to add the loan and I have added the loan. So in step number six, it is saying that when you need to navigate, when you ne need to navigate to a record quickly without a large number of clicks with your mouse, you can search specific information in the search field of the navigation bar at the bottom of the window. In this case, you are interested in adjusting information for the author with a member ID of 16, Tyler Fletcher. Use the navigation bar to search for member ID 16 and then added the sum form so that the interest is, is 12.54 instead of 0 0.1899 for the loan with loan ID 47. So first we are supposed to search for the member ID that is 16. So let's go to the form and here we are supposed to search for the member ID 16. So we got the member ID 16, this one. Tyler Fletcher, that is given here, Tyler Fletcher, this one. So we have searched for the member ID 16. Now we are supposed to add the sub form and we will change the interest rate to 12.54. So let's go to the interest rate. This one. We are supposed to change the interest rate for instead of 0 0.4 for the loan ID 47. So we are supposed to change the this interest rate to 12.4 12 12.54 12 instead of 0 0.1899. So let's change this and then close the maintain member form then we will close this one so you can see that loan ad is 47 that is mentioned in the instruction this one loan ad 47 we are supposed to change the interest rate for this loan id that should be 12.54 so we will change this one to 12.54 So we have changed the interest rate for the loan ID 47 to 12.54. After changing this, we will close the maintain member form. So let's close this one now. So that is all about step number six. So we have solved six steps for this assignment and now we will move to next step that is step number seven. So basically this assignment have 10 steps and I have shown you 6 steps for this assignment. So step number 12 is reports are used to neatly organize table data or query result into a document for presentation to co-worker and or supervisors. In this case, you are interested in confirming that the report you created based on the loans officer and members query is reflecting the appropriate information before sending it to your supervisor. So now it is saying that open the loan officer and member report. So we are supposed to open the loan officer and member report this one. And then it is saying that that shows five loans listing fully paid as loan status. So it is showing that 1, 2, 3, 
four and five. So it is showing five loans at as fully paid. So next thing to do is fully paid. View the layout of the report in print view. Close the loan officer and member report. Open the loan officer and member query. Sort the query by loan officer field in ascending order. So now we are supposed to view the layout of the report in print view. After that, we will close this report and then we will sort the member officer, member loan officer and member query. Sort the query by loan officer in ascending order. So let's do this step now. So let's go to the database file and we are supposed to view this in the print view. For this, click on file and then click on print and then click on print preview. So this is the print preview of this report. So now we are supposed to close this one. And now we are supposed to open the loan officer and member query. So after open, opening this one, we are supposed to sort the query by loan officer field in ascending order. So now we are supposed to sort the loan officer and member query by the loan officer in ascending order. It is mentioned in the requirement sort the query by loan officer field in ascending order. So this is a loan officer field. We will go to home tab and then sort and filter and click on ascending. So we have sorted the loan officer query in ascending order and we are done with step number 12. So I have shown you seven complete steps out of 10 steps. So now I am going to give you an overview for two, three remaining steps. How you can complete those steps, then I will submit this assignment and will show you grade for this assignment. How, many, how much grade my student get in this assignment. So let me give you an, an overview of the remaining three steps. That is step number eight, nine and ten. So step number ten is use filter by selection to show only the loans managed by loan officer whose name is John Badman. So I have done this one. Let me show you. So you can see that I have set the filter. So it will show only the, the loan officer whose name is John Bad, Badman. So it is showing loan for only the loan officer whose name is John Badman, that is step number 8. So our next step is step number 9. So in step number 9, it is saying that sort the query by loan status in alphabetical order, save and close the query. So now we are supposed to sort this loan officer and member query in alphabetical order by loan status, loan status field. So this is the loan status field and I have sorted this by the alphabetical order so it is showing current fast then fully paid then in progress so it is sorted in alphabetical order that is all about step number nine so last one is step number ten so step number ten is open the loan table use filter by form to create a filter that will identify all loans with a term of 36 months that also have an trust rate less than 0.11. Apply the filter and preview the filter table. So now we are supposed to apply a filter by form in the loan table and two conditions should be met for this filter. First one is the term of 36 months. So loan should have a third term of 36 months and it should have an trust rate less than 0.11%. So let me show you the result for this one. So close this one and open the loan table. So you can see that I have set the filter by form. So it is showing a term of 36 month only, no other term and interest rate is less than 0.11%. So you can see that I have set the filter and I have got the result for this one. So when you will toggle the filter on, it will show only the loan that term will be 36 month and interest rate will be less than 0.11. So I have done this step as well. Now I submitted this assignment for one of my client. You can see that first assignment, EXP19, access chapter one, 
capstone loan loan lending management and my student got 100 out of 100 this one so i have submitted this for one of my client i got full mark 16 out of 16 12 out of 12 8 out of 12 8 then again 12 out of 12 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 and again 10 out of 10 12 out of 12 so i have solved each and every step in this assignment i submitted this assignment for one of my student he got 100 out of 100 but if you want me to do this assignment for you you can contact me on whatsapp email or wechat id given in the description of this video you can hire me for your other assignment like accounting management information technology computer sciences or writing assignment mathematics word assignment and powerpoint assignments i will produce grade like this that will be a grade for you so thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe to my channel like my video and comment to my video as well